I watched his The Truth About or What Pisses Me Off About the Fuck White or whatever the hell it was about the BLM kidnapping. Uh, he cucks out so hard in the last minute of it. And yeah, after. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and I just. I have the last minute or so where he cucks out and it's just. Bleh. Tired of being told that they're the worst people in the world and then being followed everywhere we go. Not going to work. It's not going to work. And I want it to work. And if we're going to have this multi ethnic, multicultural society. Hint, we're not. We must start lowering the airstrike called racism against white people. We have to. Because if we keep escalating, we will end up giving the left the gift of racial conflict that they have been working for and begging for <coughs> and maneuvering for uh, for almost yeah. 100 years. Yeah. It is not necessary. It is not inevitable. Dems are the real we race war. choose a higher path and a better path. Let us all live under the same rules. Mm. Let us all have the same perspectives mm. and let us all look towards our common humanity mm. rather than splitting and dividing Let's and opposing not. and causing problems Where? and promoting hatred. I don't see common humanity. Yeah. Because this yeah, that's really cucky. Wow. Of what happened to this poor young man may be a macrocosm of what happens in society as a whole if we are not damn careful about where we go from here. He's uh, he's operating. Wow, he's, getting, he's getting that whole. He's doing that whole whispery. whispery yeah. yeah. He's operating from the it, assumption that that the left wants race war, and that that is the that that's you know the only winning move is not to play race war. I mean, that, it's kind of, I mean, it's like they're not trying to stoke a racial conflict. They're trying to avoid racial conflict. They, they're trying to win it. With, they're trying to win the war without a fight. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, that's. They kind of want us to just shut up and die. Yeah, like, they want us to just fade away. Yeah. So it's, like he yeah. doesn't get that that's that the actual agenda yeah. is like this elimination. Um, but Break man, it's funny. I started watching that video and I, you know, whenever you start watching. The Mali video, and he's very solemn. He's very yes. We must secure yes. the existence of our people and a future for white children. Now, even that was a little, he's a little too excited there. Brian yeah, Tomorrow. no, he's but you you know he's like people. We're going to talk about something here, and yeah, like this one. White people. He's like, we really need to listen to this. That. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just funny, like when when he starts with that, like really kind of. So I watched the video of the, the teen. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's funny when, when you start a Molly bit. He's like already in the mood. The new He's style. got like that sincere stare. You can, yes. And you know, like he used to be an actor. So you know, like part of this is... Oh, is, did he? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. He, he, saw yeah, that. he used to be that. an actor. So, so you do know that... Um, you do know that, like, this. some of this is... It's not that... I don't think he's lying about what he thinks, That's but he's fine. definitely... He's, he's very... He emotes very well, and he does... Yeah, yeah he's, he's emoting. Very expressive. He's bringing, he's bringing acting skills to the table when he yeah. does this. Like, Which is yeah. good. That's good. That's what you, you need that. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, that was a... Uh, yeah, I thought that was a fun minute of audio. Because somebody was posting it on the forum. Like, oh, look how red-pilled he is. He's going to be one of us now. It's like... I mean, it's possible that he's just, that's just like the obligatory filler at the end, right? Yeah. And that he spends like 22 minutes dropping red pills and then he says that at the end to kind of cover his ass. Like, I wouldn't be surprised because I've seen other videos he's done where it's like, yeah, this is just straight red pills the whole way through. Like, he's just, he's giving you all the, the crime, the IQ, everything. He's hitting you with everything. Right. Um, and so, like, you wonder, like, um, really, is he just saying that because he has to say it? Like, I don't know. I mean, I would, my guess would be maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't know. I mean, he goes, it goes really far. Like, if we're, if you said, if we're, if we're gonna, if this is gonna work, if we're gonna live under this multi, I mean, what's the actual? Let's get back. Tired of being told that the way we have to. No, I mean, I don't know. Because he if we says, keep like, escalating. I want it to work, you know, so like. I was trying to find, I can't find that clip within the. We must and I want start. It's not it? going to work. And I want it's it not going to work. work. Yeah, I want and if it we're going to gonna have this multi-ethnic, multicultural society, 
we must start lowering the airstrike called racism. Uh, I mean, wh- what do you mean? The airstrike called racism. I mean, we what currently, mean we currently but we currently to... live, we currently live, and he, he chronicles it a lot. We currently live under the yoke of this massive double standard that it, yeah. at this point in no, life, no, it's what like, he's saying. It, you know, what he's so, saying is if, if we're going to have multiculturalism, you have to stop calling whitey racist, but that's never going to fucking happen. And one wonders to the extent that he, he knows that it will never happen. Mm. Like the anti-whiteness has to, like in order for yeah. multiculturalism to work, the anti-whiteness has to stop or else white people are in fact mm. going to just mm. check out, mm. so. which is increasingly happening. Right. But the fact that it increasingly happens doesn't seem to, I mean, it's not going to really dissuade the left. It's just going to, the fact that the fact that white people are increasingly checking out is just going to persuade them that we need to die more. Right, that's just going to entrench their view that we need to that we need to all just go away. That we need to die. Right. That we need to be eliminated. Like they're not going to be like, oh, well, maybe we do need to be actually equal. And and the other thing is that say we say we started um, operating on the basis of uh, equality under the law. I know this is something that people signal against because they, you know, and whatever. Not say we start operating in this space. Say we say like, okay, equality under the law. Um, people get charged with crimes and convicted regardless of like racial considerations don't come into it. People get jobs, people get admissions to colleges, all this stuff. We just go back to meritocracy and equality under the law, like classical liberalism. Like say we do it, say we go back to a classical liberal system. Well, what we're going to have is white people at the top of everything and, uh, you know, it, it'll be like kind of like it already is just there will there won't be affirmative action hires and diversity hires and there won't be uh, from, you know, it'll be, you know, the colleges will become all white again. Businesses will become all white again. Like it like all that shit will go away and there will be, you know, like black, like so they're not going to ever let that happen. Right. Like they know damn well that going back to classical liberalism, which is what all the sort of the alt light people uh, mm-hmm. want is we go back to this egalitarian meritocratic, you know, egalitarian under the law meritocratic system. Yeah. Well, that's going to be, that's going to make, that's going to create racial tiered society, which we already have a racial tiered society, but it's going to be even more obvious. And that's going to, so they're not like the left is never going to let that happen. Um, and that's why, you know, they, that's why the left will never go for, and they will always see, racism in the classical liberalism even though the classical liberalism is they they insist they're not racist the left understands and this is also where dr3 comes from because uh, the left understands something that they don't which is they understand that classical liberalism creates the racial racially tiered society and they either don't understand it or they pretend not to understand it um some people might understand it but um, they don't care because this is this is just what they're going to go for. The left knows it damn well. And because the left knows it, that's why you get the DR3. That's yeah. why you get mm-hmm, the people that mm-hmm. really believe in it say, yeah. hey, these leftists are racist because they don't think blacks can make it on their own. No, no, no. They understand what will happen right. under a classical liberal regime, which is that, yes, blacks cannot make it on their own. And blacks will, in fact, become you know, they, there will be no more. Basically, it'll be the way it is now, but with no more diversity hires and affirmative action hires. There's and so, also white people. Oh, white people will then be significantly freed up to not have their jobs threatened, um, not have their neighborhoods threatened, because again, you can live. You can live next to whoever you want. Like you don't have to uh, have the Section Eight stuff. You're not going to be moving poor, poor, quote unquote, people into wealthy neighborhoods. People can segregate by class. People can segregate by race all they want because there's no, we're not looking at these things. We're not enforcing these rules. So yeah, you're going to get white people will, will actually start doing better because they'll be like, Hey, look, you know, we, uh, we can have our own neighborhoods. Now we can have kids. We can have our own schools. We don't have our jobs threatened. So all of a sudden things, I mean, look, I'm not a classical liberal, but uh, I get why people are because mm, it's sort of yeah. like everything, like a lot of things that we would like um, would happen, meaning like it would actually create the, we, they, we, it would go back to de facto segregation and all this stuff. And the left knows this. So they'll never give you classical liberalism. 
then you'll never get it. You're never going to get it. Um, if in, in so, if you insist on like we're not going to have a ra- we're not we're going to have a racially diverse classical liberal society, no, you're never going to have it, dude. Mm-hmm. You're never going to have it because as soon as it, as soon as you get it, assuming that it could ever happen now, it's going to go right back around to civil rights bullshit because it's gonna it's gonna you're going to get the segregation and the racially tiered society again, and the left also won't allow white people to recover like that. Because you get white people recovering financially, white people recovering their birth rates, all this shit would start happening. They're not going to just let that happen. Like, they're not going to let you reform the system that way. 